Hello and welcome back Tuba students. I have another Tuba video for you today. All right, I wrote my own piece. This is the sixth video for beginner tubas that I use in my class. And if you're starting, uh, this is the piece I wrote myself called Up and Down. And I'll take a moment and I'll pull the piece up right here. Okay, and as you can see on the screen, Up and Down has five lines, okay? And the first line is just whole notes, and then we go to quarter notes, and then we go to quarters, eighth notes, and a half note, and then we go to notes with rests, and then the last line is kind of separate. That's only five measures, and that's just a little a B flat D F arpeggio, okay? But the nice thing about this piece is you can play the first line, the whole notes, you can play that with the rest of the line. So if you can master line number one while I'm playing line number two, you can also play line number one, or with line three, or with line four, okay? It only uses five notes, B flat, C, D, E flat, and F. And when you're playing those five notes, you'll see measure one is always B flat in each of the lines. Measure two of the first four lines is always C. Measure three is always D. Measure four is always E flat. And then it goes up to F and then it comes back down. So as we play through this, you'll be able to hear that, okay? And I'll pull up the music on the bottom of the screen so you can follow along with each line. I'm gonna play through this song two times. I'm gonna start at 80 beats per minute and then I'll take it at 120 beats, okay? So we're gonna start on B flat, going with the metronome. One, two, beginning. job if you were able to play along. I was trying to play light on those last eighth notes so if they didn't come out. I apologize. Okay? So now we're going to play the same song. But we're going to take the tempo up to 120 beats per minute. Okay? And this will definitely seem a lot faster. For those of you who have a hard time breathing, this might be a little bit easier, but you just need to be quick on those fingers. One, two, first line again. Thank you. 
great job, tuba students. If for some reason you heard me skipping a note, I, I consider that fair practice in the tuba playing world, especially if it's in the middle of a measure and you're playing quarter notes or you're playing half notes. If you need to take a breath, sometimes it's better to miss a note and to take a nice full breath instead of just trying to sneak one in between notes. Now your band director may disagree, so if they watch this video and tell you to not skip a note, then don't skip a note on their account. Take their word over mine. But in my band, when I teach private tuba students, I always say if you're playing do, 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 no one's really going to miss out on that note unless you're the only tuba player in a tiny, tiny ensemble. Okay, but if there's a lot of people playing, especially if you have Barry Saxes and bass clarinets and maybe even an electric bass player, take that breath. Tank up with that air to get to the end, okay? Thank you very much for playing up and down today, and good luck practicing.